بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈس آئی ایم کاشف انور اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ٹو پریکٹیکل سول انجینئرنگ سو ٹوڈے از اور لیکچر نمبر ٹو ریگارڈنگ دا اسٹرکچرل ڈیزائن آف اے ملٹی اسٹوری بلڈنگ سو فرسٹ آف آل اف یو ہیو ناٹ سبسکرائب دا چینل یٹ پلیز سبسکرائب اٹ ناؤ اینڈ لائک دا ویڈیو تھینک یو لیٹس اوپن the AutoCAD file first. So let me clear now that we are doing the basics now. Once we learn the basics, then we will go to the ETAB for modeling, analysis and design of this building. So in the first lecture, we have learned how to put the columns and how to decide the column sizes. In today's lecture, inshallah, we will know how to define our floors Uh, and how to define the grades and then how to uh, define the height. So, uh, if we see here, these are the architectural drawing. Here we have ground floor, then we have a first floor, then we have a roof plan. So, if we have a building with the three plans like this, see, for example, this here, we have the roof, Here we have the first floor and here we have the ground floor. The, this we have, uh, this drawing, this architectural line have three architecture plans. So there will be three structure plans for the slabs and three structure plans for the columns each for this building, which will include for this one, we will make the a tie beam plan then we will have a ground floor plan and then a first floor plan same we will have a ground floor column first floor column and neck column plan so three co three plans will be for the columns and three plans will be for the slaves so let's start from first one so what we will do first of all we will copy the ground floor plan to make our tie beam plan okay so here just we what we will do we will remove all the architectural la layers if there is any architectural layers we will delete so delete all these layers all windows all doors all dimension just delete all only keep the wall lines here okay okay so all the architectures layers are being deleted now what about the levels here they write the level finish floor level 0.85 these are the finish floor level what will be my structure slab level are the level for these beams so just go to the section okay is the section so this is the section section a here this is the finish floor level and this is the finished floor level and this is the structure step level so this is 100 mm or 10 cm down the finished floor level is the structure step level so what i will do i will come here just change here this is 0.85 this will be 0.75 and this will be structure step level okay and just apply okay here this is 0.55 so this will be less 0.45 10 cm will be down the actually we have two levels for this one so we'll just copy this level okay what about these steps so uh, if you see this is the inside step and we have the label here what we will do we will delete all these okay just take a 20 centimeter offset from here okay and make this one solid masonry that will be solid block or 
solid brickwork same here so this tie beam plan is being completed now there are something if you see here here and here and here we don't have any support to uh, support this type so what we will do we will just make one small column like 20 by 20 centimeter or 200 by 200 mm just to support this tie beam and it will be from this tie beam level up to the uh, foundation level only so uh, once we finish we will see that i provide one column here one small column here one column here one column here one here and one neck column here so this is the tie beam what about these if there is any small wall if the length is less than we say 2.5 meters so just provide only H area and this will only be uh, was provide small wall foundation in this level and no need any tie beam like here 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 okay and even for this strips for the entrance strips what we will do we will provide these solid block or solid basic wall so this is about the tie beam plan what about the ground floor plan ground floor slab and beam plan and first floor beam, beam and slab plan for that again i will copy this for the ground floor i will copy ground floor or it's better to copy this tie beam plan okay i will copy this plan okay then i will remove the neck column because there will be no neck column then remove these solid block remove these even i will remove the interior beams because I will go for flat slab I will design this as a flat slab so just delete all the interior beams keep those beam as it is delete, delete the labels also because here the label will be change ok and so delete this beam no need for this beam okay and just one thing copy the staircase to this plan to show that it will so from the architectural plan I will copy this is here so this is the ground floor plan one thing uh, you have to highlight the washroom area so for this one uh, this is the slab for the ground floor ground floor slab and it will act as a flooring for the first floor so I will come here to the first floor this is the first floor and just copy this washroom area then just make a H for all these one why because this portion will be dropped this portion will be dropped from this entire slab because we will have to uh, install the pipeline for the uh, plumbing and this one for the sanitary pipes so this portion will be down so I will just keep uh, as H just to highlight this one that this slab thickness is change from this one okay so uh, this will be the ground floor plan okay what about the levels so for this one see this one the floor level so this is a finished floor level 533 I will just copy this one this is the finished floor level okay so I will write my structural step level as 523 ok apply so and this portion let's say this is 10 centimeter down from this one so this will be 
फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन ओके ओ वट अबाउट हेयर आई विल जस्ट टेक द आउटर लाइन हेयर दीज आर द आउटर लाइन ओके दिस विल बी द एज बाउंड्री दिस विल बी द एज लाइन फॉर माय स्लेब तो आई विल जस्ट कॉपी दिस वन Keep the slab edges as architectural. Okay. In the same manner, I have to make the first floor plan. So, so these three slab plans are being drafted. Okay. Once we draw this plan, then we have to uh, define our grids or axes. So, how we will define our axes? We will define our axes from. Uh, this plan from type beam plan what we will do we will draw on every center of column we will draw one line okay let's we have this one on horizontal line and one vertical line okay and then horizontal line i will draw horizontally also okay so once you draw here the trim lines here Okay, so the axes are being drawn. Now you have to. If uh, I want to change this layer, just I have to change the axes. Keep in mind that we have defined layers for each and everything. Okay, so the axis is being drawn. Now I have to give the tags for this, this, this. So, for example. in this direction i will make this a b c d and from up to from down to up i will bring this 1 2 3 so this is a so just copy this say here then just change the names so a this should be b C V E F okay okay this will be H and then so from here one two three from down to up and from left to right then just provide the dimension so first let me see I have already defined a dimension for this axis and I will change this one to structured axis okay just make dimension what I will do. I will make one complete dimension from here to here, and then I will make dimension for each and every one, like this one, ten. Same for this side. so this dimension is an also you have to make dimensions for this side and for this side okay this dimension for all these sides i i dimension and now what i will do i will just copy this axis to all my plans okay so plans are being ready for the modeling uh, in the it is now what about the columns plan for the next column just copy this plan along with the axis this will be the next column 
plan okay then we have the ground floor so the for the ground floor just copy from this floor so we the ground floor column and then you have the first floor so this is first floor column plan okay so we have prepared the three column plans and three foundation plan and we have defined our axis okay so hope inshallah you learn from this texture and if you learn and you have any question regarding this one just write in the comment box thank you so much